Bob Street Online, what's going on? Thank you for joining us today. You could be doing a lot of things, but you chose to count down to Christmas with me. And well, that just hits differently. So thank you for that early Christmas present. We've been counting down all month and I don't need a clock to let me know that we're one week away from the big day. Woo! I'm so excited. I'm sure you are too, so let's get into this. All right, so Christmas, it's close, it's coming up, you know this. And maybe you've got some things you do to get yourself in the Christmas spirit. You know, those things that you just have to do to make it feel like Christmas. For me, that's grabbing a hot chocolate and getting out my neighborhood or city and looking at Christmas lights. That's my thing. Maybe that's something a lot of us do. Like get that hot cocoa, extra whip, give me some marshmallows, grab my donkey and go. Come on donkey, let's do this. You don't travel by donkey? What's wrong with you? Donkeys and Christmas just go together. It's like candies and cane. It's a match, it's a thing, it's a duo. Donkeys are a part of Christmas. You know, when I say donkey over and over, it kind of sounds weird. I think I'm kind of weird, but okay, it's settled. Donkeys are a part of Christmas. They've been there since the beginning and all prove it. A long time ago, God, you know the one who created it all and loves us all? He promised that he would send us a savior. We needed a savior because people stopped trusting God and God knew that this savior would show the world just how much he really loves us. This savior would help us have a relationship with God forever. And after years of people hearing about the savior that was coming, something incredible happened. God told these two people, Mary and Joseph, guess what? It's happening and you two are the only two who know about it, for now. God told Mary that she was going to have a baby and that baby would be the son of God, the savior he had promised. So guess what? Mary gets on a donkey and starts yelling, yeehaw, our savior is coming. Isn't that how you would celebrate this awesome news? No, she didn't do that. Mary and Joseph were engaged to be married. They were a pair and Joseph had to go to his hometown. So guess who had to come to? Mary. She took that trip, maybe riding on, you guessed it, a donkey. It's been a long trip and Mary is pregnant. And I'm sure riding a donkey while pregnant isn't fun. I mean, it's probably not even fun when you aren't pregnant. So they got to this town and Mary is about to have this baby, this savior God had promised. And Joseph is trying to find a room because the baby was coming, but there is no room, like none, nowhere. All that he can find is this place where people are keeping animals. It's dirty, it's smelly, cramped, and probably not where Mary thought or hoped she would have a child. But there she is, and she had the baby. Jesus, the savior God promised, was born in the craziest of places, surrounded by animals that probably also included, you guessed it again, a donkey. See, he's everywhere. Okay, so I've had a little fun with this donkey business, but the story is still amazing. And it's one of the most important things that has happened in all of history. God sent Jesus to be our savior. Isn't it crazy that Jesus, the savior of the world, was probably not born in the way anyone had imagined. God was sending us a savior, but he came as a baby? Jesus might not have been what the world expected, but Jesus was exactly the kind of savior that we needed. Jesus, God's son, would be the savior of the whole world. That's why we're still talking about and celebrating Jesus' birth every year because it changed everything. Jesus was perfect and he was our savior. That's what Christmas is all about. So grab your favorite donkey and remember that Christmas is more than just donkeys, hot chocolate and presents. Christmas is all about Jesus being born for us. It's a huge celebration because God sent Jesus to be our savior. Let's pray and thank God for Jesus. God, you knew all along that we would need Jesus. 
thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior. Help us to remember as we celebrate this year that we're celebrating Jesus was born for us. We love you, God. Amen. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. Happy birthday, Jesus! We're gonna dance, lift our hands, celebrate it's Christmas Light up the world, Jesus is born Whoa. Raise your voice, make some noise, it's Christmas Let's celebrate and shout for joy There's a reason why we sing and why we celebrate Christmas time, yeah it's Christmas time It's the season that he's given us a gift so great It's Christmas time, yeah it's Christmas time He's the light of the world, come down to us From heaven now everyone sing Christmas, everybody sing with us Yeah, throw your hands up 